tengo otro tipo de fútbol, un fútbol más de visión de juego, más de técnica, más de pase. Yo no soy una persona física, ni alta, ni rápida. Nunca me, me he considerado ni, ni mejor, ni peor que otro, ni más o menos que otro. In the recent history of football, we find two playmakers who have become legendary icons, managed to shine on the biggest stage in the most important moments. Xavi Hernandez, historical player of SC Barcelona and Spanish national team, and his partner in crime, Andres Iniesta, another legend of Spanish football and the Catalan club. Who is the better player between Xavi and Iniesta? Today, we are going to compare each other's qualities and why each player has reached icon status within the game of football. Xavi sat slightly deeper than Iniesta having the main function of controlling the midfield. His elite understanding of positional play made him always in the correct position for his teammates. It also allowed him to be a complete general in midfield, linking with both the defence and attack, with the ability to find the killer pass, granting a goal-scoring opportunity for his team. His control over the midfield allowed Barca in their prime to become who they became. It looked simple, but it was anything but that. To play the role Xavi played takes extreme understanding not only of the game, but of the club's philosophy also. He was the glue that stuck both the Spanish team and the Barcelona side together, and without him, those teams we both know would not exist. If we're talking about Xavi, we're talking about a legend in world football. A genuine legend. From the very first game to the very last game, he has been the most decisive player at Barcelona. The player who has done more for Barcelona than anyone else. The player who has lifted more trophies than anyone else ever. That's Xavi Hernandez. There will be a before Xavi and an after Xavi. It is not fair that he never won a Ballon d'Or, but he was unlucky to coincide with Messi. I am sure that one day he will end up coaching Barcelona. There will never be another player like him. I cannot hide that uh, it's my dream. It's my dream to coach Barcelona. I said many times in many interviews. Xavi was a midfielder that provided balance, vision and quality to any midfield, but especially Barcelona's as he had the required skill set to execute the kind of football that Pep Guardiola wanted to play. Xavi enabled Barcelona to be able to play this way and became a rock in Pep's side, maintaining the high intensity and free flowing football Barcelona played that changed the sport. He is the quintessential Barcelona player, embodying everything the club represents. Iniesta played slightly forward, while Xavi maintained the midfield. He is a player who holds the ball more compared to Xavi because he dribbles more frequently high up the pitch and can pick out a teammate, seeing him pick up many assists. Whilst both are incredible dribblers, I give the edge to Iniesta due to his signature move La Cochetta, which he has used on many occasions to sidestep his opponent and glide past him effortlessly. Iniesta combined a lot of technical abilities that define the modern day Barcelona player with a lot of flair, individual quality and the capacity to do the unexpected. One element Iniesta has over Xavi in his arsenal was that he had a goal in him and scored very important goals for Barcelona and Spain. With the Champions League semi-final goal against Chelsea in 2009 to take Barcelona to the final, to the 2010 World Cup final goal in extra time, securing the World Cup for his country. I feel this element of his game and the importance of these moments edge Iniesta over Xavi. He's fantastic. He makes the team work. The way he finds passes, his movement and his ability to create space is incredible. He's so important for Barcelona. One thing both players had in common was supreme technical ability and the capacity to control the midfield. They encountered many games in their career where they were supposed to be difficult and made them look easy. They won everything, always being key players in the teams they played for. Their teams would not have seen the amount of success they did over the years without these midfielders playing a major role in doing so. For Barcelona, Xavi played 767 games, scored 85 goals and 184 assists. Whilst Iniesta played 674 games, scored 57 goals with 139 assists. It is important to note that Xavi played in the centre of the pitch, with functions that are more focused on the creation of the game rather than the culmination. And even so, he has very good statistics that allow him to compete in this category. This is something worth pointing out as there are a lot of football fans that want to compare midfielders based on the amount of goals and assists that they have and forget the fact that midfield is responsible for dictating the play in the middle of the field, something that cannot be analysed without sitting and watching the games play out. 
Iniesta hit his prime in the sextuple season, 2008-2009, where Guardiola changed the team's style of play and disfavoured the man from Albacete, who went from averaging 6 assists per season to 16 or 17 assists. Regarding his goals, it is good to analyse the importance of his goals. Iniesta has an advantage since he scored in the FIFA World Cup final to secure the victory for his nation. It is also worth pointing out that Xavi and Iniesta started to explode once Guardiola arrived, truly playing to their strengths and reaching their full potential due to Guardiola's high standards and the tactics he introduced. Xavi and Iniesta share most of their important titles since they shared a lot of time together in FC Barcelona and the Spanish national team. Both have four UEFA Champions League trophies and two UEFA Super Cups. Although Iniesta has nine Spanish leagues and three FIFA Club World Cups, while Xavi has eight Spanish leagues and two FIFA Club World Cups. Additionally, they both lifted the FIFA 2010 World Cup and the 2008 and 2012 UEFA Euros with the Spain national team. This category is favourable for Iniesta. They both are technical virtuosos and arguably the greatest midfielders of all time. Both unprecedented as their diminutive size and low sense of gravity allowed them to leave their opponents chasing shadows. They also had an almost telepathic understanding of positioning, granting them the ability to just play one touch in the middle of the field, and both have the ability and vision to find a defence splitting pass, weighted perfectly to place a forward through on goal. The best way I can sum them up is Xavi was a complete commander of midfield, whilst Iniesta was also a commander, but a bit more flashy and had slightly better ability to beat a player. However, I personally feel Iniesta's most important moments place him slightly ahead of Xavi. They are very similar, but I feel like Iniesta has a few more abilities that slightly edges him ahead of his teammate. This is Football Forever. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please like and subscribe as it helps my channel to grow. I have more and more videos on the way for all the fans of football.